Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Keeps his eyes open when he's on a stampede. Gosh, I'm sorry, Jim. Just that I'm on my way to my first babysitting job and I don't want to be late. Miss Mitchell's paying us 50 cents an hour. Us? You mean Fury's going to help you babysit? Of course not. Pee Wee and I have gone into partnership. We're even doing our own advertising. Go anywhere without a care. We'll watch your kids. Reliable babysitters. Joey Newton, Pee Wee Jenkins. <laughs> Appears like you got enough chores to do around here without taking care of other folk youngins. What an old little private enterprise. Never hurt anybody. Now look, after we clean up, Pete and I have got to go into town to that water company meeting. So you tell Mrs. Mitchell we said you had to be home before sundown. We'll be back before dark. She's going to the meeting too. Oh, I better hurry. The sooner I get there, the sooner my pace starts. So long. That Mrs. Mitchell can't afford to pay Joey no 50 cents an hour. When did you last count her money? I don't have to. Everybody in these parts knows she's been barely able to keep her nose above water since that no-good husband of hers ran away a few years back. Well, now, Pete, Martha Mitchell only asks that people mind their own business and not hers. Now, there's just one more little favor, Joey. I promised Mr. Matthews I'd pay him for that new pump he installed. So you give him this now if he comes by. Sure, Mrs. Mitchell. I'll leave it right here in the sugar bowl. Well, now let's see. There's lunch for you and Mark in the refrigerator. And afterwards, he's to take his nap. Well, I can see I don't have to tell you anything twice. It's Jim and Pete. I hope he hasn't changed his mind about letting me babysit. Hi, Martha. Hi. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Well, I thought I'd kind of kill two birds with one stone. See if you're satisfied with a new babysitter. And since you're going into town, I thought maybe you'd like to ride with us. Why, I couldn't ask for a more reliable babysitter than Joey. And as for going with you, it'll be a pleasure. Oh, that's fine. How about a kiss? Oh, goodness. I don't want kisses with crumbs. Hey, Joy! Hi, Jim. Hi, Miss Mitchells. What's the idea of leaving without me? You said you were going to wait. I waited. When you didn't show up, I left. You know I was delivering the west of our advertisements. And I'm happy he's with you. I'm babysitting. What's the matter? Think I'm going to cheat you? I made another note of the time I got here. Hey, I think you two businessmen can settle accounts later on. Right now, your client needs your undivided attention. You're right, Jim. Pee Wee, you do the dishes. I promised Marcus to say hello to Fury. Come on, Mark. Now, wait a minute. I hired you as babysitters, not dishwashers. I'll be with you. <laughs> oh, I hope they don't forget about Mark's nap. If he misses it, he gets terribly cranky later in the day. Oh, they'll put him to sleep even if they have to sing him a lullaby. Look, Mark, it isn't ready yet. Besides, we haven't washed your hands and face. Mommy lets me wash myself. Kids, they can sure wear a guy out. 
Joy, you think the money we're going to get is worth all this trouble? Well, being in business is not the easiest thing in the world. Let's figure out how much we're going to make today. That'll tell us if it's worth it. Let's see. I came here at 9, and she'll be back by 4. 9 to 10 is 1. 7, seven hours. I know that. Well, 7 times 50 cents. Let's see. Hey, it's awful quiet in there. Too quiet. You better go see what he's up to. Hey, don't put that in your mouth. Give me back, it's mine. Joy, look what he's trying to drink. Answer. It's poison. Give me back, Joy. No, Mark, it's bad. Here, put it someplace where he can't reach it. Where's that? On top of the icebox. Now listen, Mark. I'm going to give you your lunch, and then you're going to take your nap. And if you give us any more trouble, I'm not even going to let you see Fury. Understand? No more trouble. I'll listen, Joy. All right, get his food ready, Pee Wee. I'll scrub him down. Kids. I'm big now. I get into bed myself. Remember, Joy, you promised you'd let me ride a fury. I'll keep my promise after you take your nap. Here's the drink you wanted, Mark. I want my teddy. Gosh. I was beginning to wonder when he run out of asking for things. You and me both. My daddy! I want my daddy! We already gave you your teddy. Not teddy, but my daddy! Oh! See that? Mommy said daddy got that for flying in an airplane. It isn't everybody who has a daddy who wears wings. I know. And when my daddy gets back, I'll ask him if he'll let you and Pee Wee see his wings and ribbons, too. Gosh, I wish my daddy were back now. You go to sleep now, Mark. Now, Fury, don't be so stubborn. I promise Mark a ride. Now, kneel, Fury. No! You want to get hurt? I just want to go for a ride. Fury won't hurt me. He's my friend. I know. But he doesn't like anybody to get on his back without me helping him. Hey, Joey, who's that? I don't know. Strangers, I guess. <coughs> That's why Fury's been acting up. What do you think they want? You never know. Probably looking for work. Hi, fellas. Is, uh, Mrs. Mitchell home? I know. Uh, anything I can do for you? <laughs> anything you can do for us? Guess he doesn't know who he's talking to. This is a long lost. Never mind, Al. I can speak for myself. I'm just an old friend. I have a message for Mrs. Mitchell from her husband. You mean you saw my daddy? He's Mark Mitchell. We're keeping an eye on him while Miss Mitchell's in town. So you're Mark, huh? You've grown some. Where'd you see my daddy? Flying an airplane? Huh? Sure. All across the sky. He's a real ace. You mean he's got more medals? What kind? You see, son, I, I don't quite remember. Look, kid, we're both weary from being on the road. Once we get a hot meal in this, my partner will tell you all about your pa. That right, pal? Yeah. I don't think Martha will begrudge an old friend about her food while we're waiting for her. Yeah. Joey, you think it's all right to let them go in the house? Well, he said he's an old friend of Miss Mitchell. His face does look sort of familiar. Use your imagination, Pee-wee. A shave? Cleaned up a little? I got man out there is a dead ringer for this picture. 
gosh. If you're right, then he's Mark's father. His twin brother? I wonder why he's keeping it a secret from Mark. My mommy said they need my daddy because he's the best liar in the whole world. Your mother really said that? Yeah. My mommy said if I'm a good boy and say my prayers every night, he'll come flying out of the sky. And I'll have a daddy just like everybody else. Sounds like this Dan Mitchell's going to turn out to be quite a family man, eh, partner? When you saw my daddy, did he say when he was coming home? Look, stop asking so many questions, huh? And quit staring at me. I don't know why I have to go and bark at the kid like that. What's the matter? Kid getting under your skin? It takes more than a kid to get under my skin. Don't cry, Mark. He didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Did he, Pee-wee? Of course he didn't. Your daddy wouldn't say anything to hurt you. My daddy? Is that man my daddy? Joey, is he? But he can't be. My daddy's a flyer with medals and everything. See? God, something bad must have happened for my daddy to come home without his uniform. I don't get it, Dan. We come here for a handout, and now you want to take off before the old lady gets back. Well, you saw how run down the place is. Yeah, I guess this ranch isn't doing as well as we expected. Got any sugar? It's probably up there in the cupboard. Uh. Put that back! What? Hey, <laughs> now, wait a minute, kid. Well, what do you know, the First National Bank? Appears like we got our hand out without waiting for your missus. That's Mrs. Mitchell's money. She worked hard for it. She saved up to pay for fixing the pump. It's not your money. You'll be stealing. Why can't he call them crooks? Don't say that, Pee-wee. My daddy's not a crook. He knows who you are. He recognized you from your picture. <laughs> Without his airplane and his wings? <laughs> Put the dough back, Al. You cut cobwebs in your head. We came for a handout, and here it is. I'm asking you nice, Al. Put it back. Hey, cut it out. Asking for a handout's not the same as stealing it. Now put it back. Okay, okay, so I made a mistake. Daddy, you're not going away again, are you? Now look, I have to. It's better that way. Come on now, let's go. Daddy, I want you to stay. I don't care if you're not wearing your uniform. Now look, son. When you grow up, you'll see that what I'm doing is the best thing for all of us. But Mommy said when you came back, you'd never go away again. You gonna stay here and play hearts and flowers, or are we leaving? I told you before, stop staring at me like that. Daddy, 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 Daddy! You better stay here, Mark. Come on, let's clean up the mess they made. Afternoon, Joey. Hi, Mr. Matthews. Miss Mitchell said she'd leave some money for me. Sixty-eight dollars. Come on in, Mr. Matthews, and I'll get it for you. Uh -huh. Hi, Mr. Matthews. Hi, Pee-wee. Hello, Mark. Hello. Can't you find the money, Joey? See for yourself. It didn't fall out. Well, maybe Miss Mitchell forgot to leave it. She left it all right. Uh, I mean, she... You're probably right. She must have forgot to leave it. Now, ain't that just like a woman? Well, you tell her I was by, and I'll be back tomorrow. That Al, he must have stolen it. He just pretended to put it back. You gonna get the sheriff? There's no time, and the nearest one's at the broken wheel. Fury will help me stop him. Gosh. 
Alex, you haven't we got enough troubles without you eating everything you get your hands on? Cut it out. Sing you a psalm about that kid of yours. Well, maybe something's wrong, huh? Why don't you stop making noises like a father? He stole Miss Mitchell's money. No, he didn't. I saw him put it back. So did you. Then how come it's missing? I'll come back here. Come on, Fury. Let's round him up. Kid, or I'll bash that horse's brains in. Hold it up. We've been partners a long time, but we never stole anything. Hand it over. Don't crowd me, Dan. I'll end our partnership with this. Hit the road. Don't you think you'd better put it back yourself? I made a mistake even coming here. Here. Maybe you don't care about yourself. Or Miss Mitchell. What about Mark? You really think I could go back now when he knows I'm a failure? You don't know much about kids, do you, Mr. Mitchell? There's a razor and some shaving cream back there at the house. I'd still be a stranger to him. Same as he's a stranger to me. Here, now leave me alone. Joey! Joey! Mark got into the ant poison. What? Did you call a doctor? No telephone. He's awful sick. It wasn't my fault. I went to his Never mind that. Let's get back to the house. He kept asking me for this and asking me for that. I never saw him climb up and get that. I never saw him climb up and get that can. Gosh, Joey, what do you think is happening in there? I wish I knew. I'm on pins and needles, too. I just hope Mr. Mitchell knows what he's doing. like a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> Hi. How do you feel, son? Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, Joey and Pee-wee will get you something to eat. Now, you be a good boy, son. <laughs> You're not going away again, are you? I'd like to stay, son. But I can't. Just think, a few years ago, I went off trying to find the end of the rainbow. It was right here under my nose all the time. What do you mean? When you get a little older, son, you'll understand. Damn! What's the matter with Mark? Hello, Martha. 
Uh, I was just passing through, and he had a little accident. He got messing around with that ant poison, and... Well, he's all right, Martha. So, like I said, just an accident. Nobody's to blame. Oh, my baby. Oh. Miss Mitchell, he saved Mark's life. You ought to have seen him when he was doctoring Mark. Nobody could have done more for him. And when Mr. Mitchell thought we weren't looking, he sort of had tears in his eyes. Are you sure? Sure, like just now. Didn't you see his face? I guess it doesn't matter, though. Anybody who'd go away like he did doesn't deserve a second chance. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Looks like you're growing up, Joey. And I think you kind of earned that kiss. Where'd my mommy go? She'll be right back. first babysitting job than I expected, Joey. That's what I call real first-class work. Those tools I borrowed from you, Jim, up in the barn. Why, oh, you didn't have to bring them back in such a hurry. Well, a good neighbor always returns what he borrows when he's finished with a job. And what a job he did, Jim. The work of three men. <laughs> I figured about another year or two, the place would look like it should have after all these years I was away. Daddy, you said you had some money for Joey. So I have. It's your pay for babysitting, Joey. On the day I came home, there was so much excitement. <laughs> Martha forgot to pay it. Gosh, ten bucks! I can't change it. You don't have to, Joey. It's all yours. And Pee Wee's. But it's too much. We didn't earn all of this. Don't you think we did? It's a matter of opinion, Joey. Gosh, Fury, five bucks. This'll buy you a ton of carrots. Ah! 